Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name's Alyssa, and if you're new here, welcome. I have a grocery haul for you today from my local grocery store. And if you're new here, I do my grocery shopping a little differently. I don't do a meal plan. I don't do a regular weekly grocery list or every monthly grocery list. I buy sales or shop sales and I shop discount stores and salvage stores, Amish stores. I live in the Midwest, so I'm very fortunate to have about five uh, discount Amish stores within about 45 minutes of my house. So that's how I do my shopping. I don't do a meal plan. I'm kind of, uh, I say an emotional cook, not an emotional eater. If I don't, if I do a meal plan when I did them, I always was like, oh, I don't want to cook that. I don't feel like cooking that tonight. I want to do something different. So I don't do meal plans and I just cook out of my pantry and then sales. So um, I will sit down every once in a while and jot down a few ideas of what I want to make. But uh, usually it's a day to day thing. Like today I was going to make something and I got home late and uh, we ended up with frozen pizzas because I just didn't have time to cook anything tonight. I have stuff in the fridge. Um, I've been doing a week's worth of cooking on Saturdays because I have taken on some more responsibilities right now for the next couple of months. So I don't have a lot of time to cook during the week. But um, I cooked a big turkey up and I was going to make mashed potatoes. I haven't made the mashed potatoes yet. Made a salad though. So I do have some veg. But um, I wanted to finish that meal tonight. And I'm just not going to get to it. And if you hear lots of racket in the background, my daughter's unloading the dishwasher. That's why. Um, so, like I said, I have, it's kind of a smallish grocery haul. I actually, went, I had four things on my list <laughs> that were on sale at Meyer today that I wanted to pick up. That's my local grocery store. And um, I happened to hit Ibotta and look at some of their rebates and offers. And they had some really good deals. Um... So I went ahead and picked up a few other things and then I saw some things I wanted as I was in there. But I don't know if where you guys are, how things are going, but in our Meyer today, there was no toilet paper and a lot of shelves were empty and sparse, very sparse. So um, I didn't go crazy, um, but I did pick up a few things. So let me flip you around and show you what I picked up. So here is our little haul, just a little, not a lot. I feel like you guys are really close. I don't know what's going on. Sorry about that. But I, oh, okay. So I picked up, um, this was an Ibotta deal. They were, on, they were on sale too though. They were on sale for a dollar a piece, these Jello puddings. And then I had the I bought a rebate, I think was like 50 cents off one. So that made them like 50 cents. So I grabbed one butterscotch, one cheesecake. This is for a recipe. And then one pistachio pudding because my oldest loves pistachios. And I thought, you know, she might like that. And for some reason, the holidays, I think of pistachio pudding. I don't know why. But I think I'll make, I might make a dessert with this. And then I picked up this. Uh, for my husband to put in my stocking, just a little cookie scoop. Mine broke. Um, this was another Ibotta deal. These were a dollar. And then there was an Ibotta rebate for, I believe, again, it was 50 or 55 cents. So I went ahead and picked up three bags of those. And those are for uh, the holidays also for recipes. Now, I only have one here because I put the others in the freezer in my garage. Um, I know there is so much controversy and debate about Cool Whip or whipped cream. And I guess I'm just a little lazy when it comes to making whipped cream. Um, so I just go with the Cool Whip. Um, half of us in the house like it, half of us don't. But um, I'm the one <laughs> buying it and making it, so I just bought Cool Whip. So um, these were on sale again. They were $1.25 for the 8-ounce Cool Whip container. And then Ibotta had a 75 cent coupon. So that was a really good deal on those. So like 50 cents. So I grabbed five of those. That was the limit. These were another Ibotta, these three items. So we're having a, an extended kind of family get together this weekend on Saturday. So these were, I think they were $1.49. And then I had a 75 cent off Ibotta 
uh, coupon, so I went ahead and picked up a buffalo wing flavored dip and a deep fried pickle whip dip <laughs> from Dean's. Um, just to have with chips, we're having some soups and sandwiches and chips, so I thought that would go great with those. So I picked those up, and then I picked up a Daisy sour cream. This was two o eight, I believe, um, or two o nine. It was two o nine, and then I had a fifty cent Ibotta um, rebate on it, so that made it like a dollar fifty. And that's this is a big uh, twenty four ounce container, so that was a good deal. Now, these were on sale. They were, oh boy, what were they? They were $2. I think they were two for four. I usually pay three for five, but I have not seen that in a while. And um, I'd like to have them for the holidays. So I went ahead and picked up two of the Vlasic Sweet Gherkins. And you know what? This is crazy. I don't know if I've ever tried the Vlasic Sweet Gherkins. I always get the Mont Olivet or uh, I don't remember the other brand, um, but I don't know. I always I like dill and plastic, but I don't know that I've ever had the sweet gherkin and plastic. So I'm excited to try these. But those again for the holidays, and I'll probably pick up a few more. I ran out of these in my pantry, and I did not realize it. So um, everybody in the house loves them, and we'll go. We can go through a jar and a meal. So I need to pick up keep picking them up. I'm hoping as we get closer to the new year that maybe they'll have an even better sale. So I'll keep watching. And then we discovered that my oldest loves Caesar salads. So I went ahead and picked up some Caesar dressing. This was on sale two for four. And I picked up, oh, I picked up these. If you guys have been watching, you know, um, we love, um, McVitie's Digestives. These are the dark chocolate and they were the only ones left on the shelf in the international aisle. So they just looked lonely. So I just grabbed them. They weren't on. It's, it's one of those things, you know, sometimes you just see it and you buy it. So that was one of those things. And then I picked up, I don't even know how many pounds of sweet potatoes this was, but I just cooked all the ones I had bought the last time and they, I think I have one left in the fridge. So I wanted to have them for Thanksgiving and Christmas and these will last. If they're in a cool, dry spot, they will last. So I picked up quite a few sweet potatoes. They were, uh, what were they, 25 cents a pound. And then they had the five-pound bags of russet potatoes on sale for 99 cents. So I picked up two bags of those for 99 cents. They had the cuties, or the clementines. Oh, mandarins. These are mandarins, sorry. And these are, how big is this bag? I think it's... I think it's a three pound bag. I'm not seeing. Um, yeah, I'm totally not seeing this. But yeah, I think it's a three pound. Oh, there, three pound, yep. Three pound bag, and they were two for five. So I picked up two bags of those. And then this is one of those things. Um, there are very few left on the shelves, and I use these. This is the Hershey's Caramel Syrup and the Hershey's Hot Fudge. I use these a lot for desserts, especially through the holidays. So uh, there weren't a lot left on the shelf, so I thought, ah, I'm just going to go ahead and pick them up. They were not on sale. I think they were $2.09 each. And then <laughs> I'm missing a can of corn. They had their Meyer brand whole kernel, well, vegetables. Their canned vegetables on sale for 49 cents a can. They had limit four. We do not eat canned peas, and I canned my own green beans, so I didn't need those. I should have checked for lima beans. Shoot, I might do that if I go back um, or stop back by and see if they had the lima beans, because we love lima beans. Um, but I picked up four. There's a limit of four. So I grabbed four. I'm missing one. That's all right. We'll find it. It's probably in the car. Uh, they had Brussels sprouts on sale. Two for four or two for five. I don't remember what they were. I think they were two for five. Um, one pound bag. So I got those because we are um, I'm making those for Thanksgiving. And they only had like five bags left. And there was another lady taking bags as I was there. So I just went ahead and grabbed them. And they'll be fine in the fridge. And then I picked up 
uh, four bottles of the Jaritas, Jaritos um, with three fruit punch and one of the mandarin orange. And uh, those were not on sale, but there was only one mandarin orange left and a few fruit punches. There may have been 20 fruit punches. Um, and the last time I was there, they didn't have any. Did they have any or they just had mandarin? I don't remember. I think they just had mandarin. So I just went ahead and picked up four just to add to our little stop pile. Um, when we have treats for our girls, we like to have these because they are made with cane sugar. They're not, they don't have any high fructose corn, corn syrup. And then I grabbed a gallon of milk because we were out of milk and my daughter needed a new water bottle for school. So we grabbed that. And that was 75 something or other dollars. That was my haul. So that does not seem like a lot for $75. Well, but the water bottle was like 20 and the scoop was like 8 so that's almost 30 So I guess the rest of it, $40, $45, I guess. So if that's all, I hope you guys enjoyed. Hey, if you like getting these videos, please hit the like button, subscribe, and um, I will see you in the next video. Bye.